to our scripture of the week related to sports. Now it's time for it. And I thought that I would use uh, the, the thing that he mentioned the most and he mentioned his Instagram bio about by being a child of God. So um, we are going to talk about the topic of being a child of God in our scripture of the week this week, which is found in 1 John 3, verse 1. It says, So what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that they do not know Him. So what an awesome gift. You know, we get gifts on our birthday, at Christmas, but what um, better gift can we get than being the children of God who created the heavens and the earth and everything in it? What a relief to know that we are children of God. We have this amazing title, this identity and belonging. Can you even begin to imagine the depths of the love this gift of being called a child of God truly is? All humanity was, uh, was separated from God by sin and death, as we know, through the sin of Adam and Eve. But God made a way out for us by the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are, we are now inherited into the family. It's kind of be like being adopted into a family. Right. Uh, we're adopted in the family of God. Yeah. We are now a, a child of God when we accept Jesus Christ into our life. Because of his blood sacrifice, which is impossible for us to even atone for, we have been given this new life. We might have once been called dead men or women walking, but now it is possible for us to sit at the family table with Jehovah Jireh, our provider and savior. Not only are we invited guests to the table, because that is in and of itself a special thing, but we are now more than just guests at his table. We are family. <laughs> I got yeah. all my sisters and me. <laughs> and yeah, we are family with God. We are we're not over that. We can walk in the power of God. Not only can we can do things that Jesus did by the name of Jesus. So many of us do not take the, the being a child of God for granted. And half the time the, the enemy will make us think that we're not good enough. When man, anybody, no matter what your background, no matter what your situation you are a child of God, and you can walk in the in victory. He calls us sons and daughters. He says that anybody that that, that that uses my name, you know, has ability to cast out demons, to to to, to uh, lay hands on the sick and see them recover. So many awesome things were given by being a child of God. We are included in the inheritance of eternity with God. I mean, I cannot emphasize that enough, how awesome that is. And it's something maybe we don't talk about enough. For some, this might sound like a, a hypothetical or nothing more, so it is dismissed and rejected. For others, doubt overshadows this good news. We doubt, oh, are we really the child of God? Can that really be true? The, the board says it is. You know, Jesus doesn't lie. The Bible is true. Everything that Jesus said in the Word is true. And uh, in, in, in with things that we can use. And God can't lie. He tells the truth with everything that he presents in the Bible. For surely we're unworthy of such a destination and title. But that is not the truth of the gospel. And in part, these rational thinkers are correct. But none of us deserve this. None of us deserve to be child of God. But we're given that by all by the, a simple prayer of 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 believing in our heart and confessing with our mouth and it talks about in Romans 10 verse 9 that Jesus is Lord we accept Jesus Christ we are now inheritance of the king we are now ch children of God amen um, none of us deserve this but, but it doesn't matter Jesus said we are worthy by what he did it was such a blessing yet because of God's grace and love we are given the priceless opportunity to be grafted back into the family of God. We never can earn it, and we don't earn it. It says in the word that it's by grace through faith we are saved. Yes. His grace and his fa and faith in him we are saved, not by anything that we do. There isn't enough good works in this world to attain for our sinfulness. But Jesus, in the shedding of his blood, washes our sins away and makes it right. It says, ah, oh, but there's a catch. 
no catch. No, no, no. The catch is really this. It is our choice. <coughs> and he says, you know, it reminds me of, uh, the, the, was it, Back to the Future 2, when mm -hmm. uh, when the, the old Biff goes to the yeah. new Biff and he gives him the sports almanac. And, 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 and the, the young Biff says, well, okay, old man, what's the catch? He says, no catch, just keep it a secret. But anyway, so what? You, but in this case, we don't want to keep it a secret, right? right. It is our we want to let uh, the reason that we want to let people know about Jesus so they can be a child of God too. Right. So the the the, the there the, there is no the, the catch is exceed, accepting Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. That is the catch. It's your choice. That's right. It's up to you and me to be to walk in as child of God. We decide if we wish to accept the offer. You know, just like Dan Hurley, he could have taken $70 million from the Lakers, but he decided to accept the offer of the UConn for $50 million instead and stay where he was comfortable and liked coaching. <laughs> I can't really blame him. No. So we decide to accept the offer. But in this giving that has been uh, sacrifice, pain, and labor, it must be given freely to us, but... Uh, but the cost, when we consider it, is unconsciousable s steep. The catch is our belief in Jesus is how we become children of God. We must accept the gift that has already been given to us. We must receive it with an open heart and mind. Our joy of being called sons and daughters of the Most High God, a child of God, is receiving at the moment our belief in His his sacrifice and his resurrection, believing that Je that even though we weren't there over 2,000 years ago, that we believe that Jesus died on that cross for us. Um, so here's some questions we can ask ourselves here about being child of children of God. Will you claim your title as son or daughter of God through your belief in Jesus? I know about you, but I'm grabbing that ticket. I got a ticket to Night Ranger concert right here. <laughs> but Dispense is a ticket to, to Jesus. I'm taking that ticket. I'm accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I'm becoming a child of God. How does this change the way you view yourself and others? Well, it should v help you have good self-esteem. If you know who you are in Christ, you are going to be confident in your abilities. You're not going to be down on yourself. You're not going to be woe is me. You're not going to listen to the lies of the enemy because you know who you are in Christ. Next question. What does being identified as a son or daughter of God truly mean? It means that we get to sin on God. That we have the advantages of being a child of that person and being, you know, being able to get, you know, inherit the things that God brings in his word. Just like, you know, a child may inherit stuff from his parents. You inherit stuff because of family and you are a family of God. So what it means is that you have the th everything that God has is yours. Um, so what can you do today that will reflect the gift of being called the children of God? You can walk. I think you can walk in confidence. You can be you can stand in faith and know that God's got to come through with his word. I remember God told me very vividly when I was at Bible school at Rama uh, back in the early 2000s. He was talking to me about a Mark 11:23 which says, you know, to uh, if you have faith, you know, and, and tr trust God and, and believe in your heart, you know, he talks about, you know, having faith just as a mustard seed. Uh, the different parts of that. He says, truly I say to you, if you have faith, that you, if you believe, then I, that, that uh, you will receive. And basically what God was saying there, and, and what God just spoke to me, he says, that he must come through with us. If we believe and we stand in faith and we don't doubt with our heart, but believe, as it says in Mark 11, not doubt in our heart, but believe that God is going to do it, God's got to come through for us. So I believe as children of God, we can have that faith that knowing that God will come through because we are children of God. And, uh, and uh, here's just a little, just to, we'll end here with a simple prayer. I know we don't pray every week in the scripture of the week, but we'll pray here. Dear Lord, help me to fully accept the gift of being called your son or your daughter. Help me to share the great gift with those around me so other people will know how to be and to walk in the authority of being who they are in Christ. May your light shine on me and light the path that you will have would have with this walk. 
You are, thank you, Father, for loving me and pouring out your grace upon me in this way. And thank you, Lord, for being able to accept you as Lord and Savior so that we can become a child of God. We praise you and we thank you for that. Amen. So hopefully you pray that. Again, if you ever want to pray that simple prayer, you can call somebody here at the church, 315-280-4044. Tell them that you would like a relationship with Jesus and somebody, we have gracious people on the phone, will they'll pray right there with you and accept Jesus Christ. You can contact me on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever. I'm on all those things. You know, just let me know, and, and I'd be willing, uh, awesome to pray with you as well. So that is our scripture of the week related to four. Again, I'll read it one more time. First John 3, verse 1. So what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. And that is what is who what we are. The reason the world does not know us is does not know him. So the, 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 the catch there is knowing Jesus by we got to know him by receiving him as Lord and Savior in our life. Hopefully you got something out of that today. All right.